Welcome. In front of me is an ROG Phone 7 from Asus and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this device. Now I'm going to start off by saying that I'm not going to be focusing too much on the gaming aspect of this device, which obviously for the most part this is what it, this device is uh, or who this device caters to. Uh, this will be more like a general kind of list that anyone can use no matter if you're a gamer or not. So let's just get straight into the settings where we'll find a bunch of them. So we're going to start off with the uh, display and here we have the typical dark mode somewhere. Um, excuse me, am I blind? I must be blind. Let's try to search it. It's dark theme and somehow I missed it. I'm not exactly sure how. But anyway, uh, by searching for it, as you can see, it shows up as dark theme. Uh, all it does is just enables the dark mode. And this is the permanent switch. You do also have the schedule. So you can utilize that if you want to. And you have two different options, either on a custom timer or from sunset to sunrise. And this will basically make it so the device swaps between these two modes automatically to provide you with the best option for the current time of day. Now, there's additional benefits to the dark mode on this device. It is using, I believe, an OLED or AMOLED display, which uh, because of that, uh, when it's in dark mode, the background that is typically white turns fully black. And what that results in is your phone needing less power because it's not really lighting up these pixels uh, that are fully black. They're just completely turned off, providing you with better battery life. Now, that won't be anything like super extensive but it's there so just wanted to mention it and obviously this only affects it uh, during the screen on time not when the screen is off now moving on to the next option it's going to be the color mode now that's going to be under the display and uh, for some reason it's called splendid I'm not exactly sure why I, I think that's a selection but then the name would be optimal uh, whatever uh, as you can see in here we have a uh, the screen color, we have optimal, natural, cinematic, standard, and customized. So you can choose whichever one you want. Uh, there is obviously no like wrong or right uh, option right here. So just pick whichever one looks the best for you. We do have several images uh, to go through as a just a kind of example to see what the changes will be. Now on the camera, you can probably see very little change. These are actually, in all honesty, very subtle. So just pick whichever one you find to be best. I prefer something that is a little bit more warm. So cinematic is one of those warmer tones uh, where the white background just has a little bit more like a warmth to it. That's kind of what I prefer. Um, but obviously that's my preference. You can choose whichever one you want. Like standard or saturated although there is no saturated uh, but one last thing i'm gonna just check out the customized one there we go So the customizer doesn't give you as big of a range as uh, the pre-made one so as an example when it comes down to the warmth um, the cinematic is a little bit more cranked up compared to this. I didn't mess around with the color temperature. I assume if I would probably do, it, do this, I could achieve with both of these combined same results. But obviously, just I wanted to see how that actually varies. Anyway, let's move over to the next option, which will be the refresh rate. So that is also under the display. Let's just quickly try to find it. Oh, there we go. Refresh rate. Not sure how I missed it. But anyway, as you can see, this device can go all the way up to a staggering 165 hertz, which is uh, insane, to be honest. Uh, but for probably best battery life and also experience, 
I would suggest dropping it though hmm, it's actually a little bit challenging considering the automatic is basically a mixture of uh, of I assume two but I have no way of actually like knowing so let me quickly explain auto mode typically picks two uh, or oh yeah two refresh rates now that could be obviously the highest one which in this case would be 165 at the very like highest end this one can push it and that's probably what auto will stick when you just you know swiping up and down uh, but when the display is stationary like it is right now when it's not animating anything it will drop either to 60 or in certain phones it will drop it even lower to like 20 or even lower depending on the phone and what kind of tech it has now i would consider that 165 hertz is a um, nice bragging right but anything outside of like 120 hertz will be very hard to spot a difference between like 120 and 165 uh, but obviously that is a still a decent increase in frame rates that will be need to push to the to the display per second and obviously it will also increase the battery consumption when doing this so it would be very nice if the auto would actually be able to i don't know i uh, utilize max 120 but it like it's either 120 full tilt or auto which utilizes both which i'm assuming 165 and 60. so to kind of give a well, general explanation here what to, to pick if you're planning to prioritize battery life uh obviously stick with the 60 this will be the best option for battery life if you want nice smoothness and still a decent battery life auto will probably be better now that is something that i recommend checking so auto uh, or 120. now this is a very dependent on how you use the device obviously so if whenever you're using your device you're just always doing something on it and not for instance like keeping it stationary uh, then auto will not have much of a difference in terms of battery life while the 120 will uh, but if you have things like right now just an image or page that isn't moving in any kind of way i am saving battery even though once i start doing anything it will automatically cr crank it up to 165 so it really depends what you will be doing uh, so from there you can pick which option will suit you the most now moving on to the next option it's going to be the where was it status bar icon manager so this allows you to hide all the toggles or icons that you have right here from different toggles like bluetooth uh, wi-fi hotspots and so on so you can go in here and toggle off i believe all of them or if not all a uh, majority of them which would be probably all the visible ones anyway i'm gonna just toggle all of it all of it so you can see how it will look like so we don't have well almost anything actually we do have a single notification which we can get rid of and voila there's literally nothing in the status bar now i would probably recommend keeping something like time and battery uh, for just a little bit of info but in terms of clean look i would probably change the battery to have percentage in the battery itself or just not show it at all as in the per percentage so you can do that as well by going to the battery section which i'll be touching upon in just a moment now next thing will be the system navigation uh, now i've been using buttons for the well since the beginning of the video but i do personally prefer the gesture navigation which removes the buttons and then allows you to gesture it does give you an animation right here to kind of show you how to use them uh, there's also additional option by tapping on a gear icon which allows you to increase the sensitivity of the back gestures so either one of those uh, so it just increases the sensitivity as a uh, what will be the like trigger area uh, for your finger so as long as your finger is anywhere on that blue line that was here uh, it will and well, swiped obviously it will activate as a gesture if it's literally like right outside of it it will then consider this as a swipe uh, so if you have problems where it just doesn't always pick up your well, swipe from the edge as a gesture 
you might want to increase this. Now moving on to the next option in here also is the hiding uh, indicator at the bottom. In all honesty it serves no purpose, so I prefer to hide it. It just makes the device look cleaner and still functions the same exact way. It just removes this bar, which like I said served no purpose. Now moving on, I'm going to now touch upon the battery section. So let's go into the battery. And in here we have system mode as it's called. We have three different ones. We have the dynamic, we have the X mode, and we have ultra durability. Ultra durability is basically the power saving mode with a uh, flashy Asus naming crap. Uh, but in all general idea, it's a power saving mode with extra bells, bells and whistles. Now X mode will be basically cranking, up, uh, cranking your device all the way up full tilt giving you as much performance as you possibly can from this phone obviously it will then decrease your battery life but if you need some kind of extra boost in performance you get it by going into x mode and the dynamic is basically a mixture where it just kind of tries to optimize the battery or the phone uh, to your current usage now i'm going to touch upon uh, the durability and go in here and just kind of showcase this uh, how ridiculous this is because we have a stupendous amount of options in here for power saving mode which typically most of the devices have like a yeah cool you flipped it on a uh, little bit of less brightness um, wi-fi and mobile data off uh, go have fun uh, here you have uh, well, obviously a clear visibility of what is being changed on the device and full control over all of these options. So if something doesn't fit your exact needs, as an example, if you want your device to still run at 165 Hz uh, when you enable power saving mode, boom, you toggle that off and you get all the benefits or other benefits from power saving mode apart from the reduced screen refresh rate and you're good to go. Uh, you have a bunch of different things like sensitivities, uh, precisions, uh, again, more touch sensitivities, and so on. So it is pretty extensive when it comes down to what you can actually set in here. And going into the X mode, it will be uh, similar, though obviously in this case you probably want to push it in the opposite direction. So if in other ones you are going with sensitivities reduced to increase the battery life, uh, in X mode, you probably want to crank them up to be more precise and better. Obviously, all those options will be increasing your battery life, so something to keep in mind. But just to finish this off, uh, the X mode here is obviously more catering towards more power rather than more battery life. And these toggles right here also represent that as well. So that's basically everything that I wanted to show you so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching